Do 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 do. Stream preview. Come on. Listening post midspar. Oh my. Who's this? It's Purdy. Hyperwave echo detected. Decoding transmission. Long ago, the singularity formed. Its creators uplifted into something beyond our understanding. These beings, now known as the Lexites, left Earth, traveling to multiple planets in our solar system, before vanishing altogether. This is why we are here. Welcome to Star Control, a state-of-the-art international space agency tasked with the exploration of our solar system. Wow. And the defense of Earth. Man. Here resides the world's brightest minds and greatest technology. Brought together by a strong curiosity to discover the unknown. Help us pioneer the future. Join today. If you were an alien, tracking transmission origin, what would you think of a transmission like that? Approximate origin calculated. Plotting route. Uh oh. Oh my word. Damien, welcome to the stream. Wow. Stardock Interactive presents a Crimson Corporation production. Star Control Origins. Ah, and we've made it to the menu. Let's take a look at what we have here. Great textures. Bleh is an option. Full screen, shadow detail. Great. V-Sync. I suppose that's okay. Sound effects. Everything looks good. I don't think we have to change anything there. Normal difficulty. Always show arena info. Keep ladders in memory. Leaders in memory. Hmm. One local player, two local players. This game's got local co-op, huh? With one player on this computer, you can use keyboard and mouse. One controller, if any. Well, I don't have any friends in real life. <sighs> All right, fine. <laughs> Let us begin. We need you to save the universe. No pressure. Do, 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 do. Achievement unlocked! One small step. Yoink. Damien, I bet you're back with that oatmeal. Nice. Well, that music's pretty, uh, pretty hip. Pretty cool. We dance around a bit. More dancing required. The loading takes a long time doo, doo. it warned me that I need to set up a page file which I haven't used for a long time I've never had a game request it before it's like the game may crash if you do not have a page file no matter how much memory you have how oh, strange these loading times are quite long it's not installed on the SSD. It's definitely accessing the hard drive a lot. The little lights blinking like crazy. Only live for four minutes. That's gonna change. Here we go. All right, everyone, shush, shush. I believe this is an alien transmission. And this is originating from where exactly? It's local. Triton. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. 
Wow. Top secret. Verify identity. We are going to be called... Gun Jammed Ham. Captain Gun Jammed Ham, Star Control Command. Reactivation, Captain Gun Jammed Ham. You have been recalled to duty. Please report to the USS. Ah, uh, Damien. And it's spelled with an E this time. Mission difficulty is set for normal. Oh, baby. It's pretty. It's a... That's an amazing looking ship. Does the spinning ring come with it? Oh, man. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. Okay. We got a hundred crew and we got a first officer, Carrie. What do you know about this radio signal? It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. Huh. What should I do when I reach Titan? Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. All right. Should I attempt to make contact with the alien? If you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. Oh, roger that. Does this supersede our mission to investigate the Lexites? Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. All right. Are the Lexites dangerous? Well, they're essentially human, so yes. But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. Oh, okay, so they were on Earth and they stole stuff. How evil. That's enough about the Lexite. Sure, Captain. Um, let's get started. Star Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. Nice. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. Uh, I'll try. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator-class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Thousand units of fuel. Good luck. And please, hurry. Flashbacks of running out of fuel and... There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Other games. Closing communications! Alright. There's Mars. There's Mercury, Venus, E to hail Star Command. Okay, so we do get the rings to come with us. There's Star Command. Okay, we're going to start moving. Are we using fuel right now? That is the question. Yes, we are. All right. We got the Cerise training base, which is not our goal at this time. We will go past them and continue on further out to Triton. So we go deeper into the solar system. Captain, we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. One landing zone, unidentified object, two landers, temperature negative, mm, cold. All right, let's launch. 
Oh dear, e me. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, achievement unlocked. Away crew. Thrust with WSAD to steer, strafe, reverse, shift to boost, exit with the escape key. Woo! It's not bad looking at all. This is really pretty. Boosting does nothing. Ooh, what are you? Resource collected. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. Tab. Gas. Ammonia. Free. Eight, uh, 989 spots. It's not the best ship in the galaxy, but it's the one we got. Uh, let's see. Common gas. Common. One. Are you? It's worth. Okay. I do have some objects on the radar here. Is that another gas? It is. Sweet. I do have more gases that way. I think the square is our target, so let's uh, browse the area. Oh, there's our ship up in the sky. That's so cool. All right, and then we have another one, too, this way. It's a common gas, but I mean, we could need it. All right, there's one. And there's another. I see no more triangles, just a square. Let's head for it. Ooh, hello. Unidentified object. Interesting shape and everything. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Achievement unlocked. actually came. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Ah, uh, wow, an alien. Believe me, you can't be as excited as we are. I am Chief Viscosity Officer Windu of the Taiwan. Nice to meet you. I'm a human of Earth. You think it's... Nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. What are you going to do? Or what are you doing on Triton? It's a funny story. You'll like it. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. Why did they shoot you down then? They hate us. Not great friends, really. More accurately, they are our masters and the rulers of a cruel empire that we are forced to serve. Oh no. Uh, okay, but what are you doing here? We're actually trying to protect you from the scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. At least we were, until a few months ago. The Scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. Uh oh. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did. By getting shot down by them. Hence the distress call. Eh. Let's see. Damien says back. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Let's see. I'm getting deja vu. Have we? Have we played this before? Huh. I don't think we have. Dang, we played something real similar though. Seems like you need help from us the other way around. 
We better get back to Earth to warn them about the Scry. You probably should. The Scrive are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. The good news is, we can help you. If you help us first. Oh, of course. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them, which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Now we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. Okay. You can fix half your ship falling off? We can? I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. Nice. Where did the other half go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. Though if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not starve to death far from home. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. Oh. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. <laughs> you got a point there. I'll be happy to help. Great! We'll give you so many hugs if you manage to succeed. Ah! Sounds good. We'll get to Great. it. Great! Okay. I'm sure someone would play the evil person. We're gonna push escape and get off this planet. Alright. Let's see. Our goal is this way. We have 986 fuel. Do we need to stop by here? Looks like it. Welcome to Ceres, Captain. This station was designed to test the military capabilities of newly deployed ships, as well as the tactical abilities of command officers. You passed all of this years ago, although we still have test drones available if you want to brush up on your skills. Skittles? Let's have a trial run. What sort of trial would you like to run? Let's, uh, targeting trial. Pick your ship. Okay, let's see. The U.S. Damien. Do, 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 we only got the one weapon. Oops. That hurt. I hope they repair that. Oh, shoot! He used some kind of... Wormhole. He is hurt. Got him! You won. Scavenger from enemy fleet. Great work. So, would you like to run another trial? Uh, let's run a combat trial. Oh, I'm still damaged. That's terrible. Can I pick this up? Max crew. Ow. Oh, is that what I'm losing is crew? Oh no. We hit him. We hit him. I see something over here, though. I want it. Well, I don't think he want meant to do that. All right. 15%. Acceleration. Got him. Yeah. Combat's going to be pretty cool in this game. There's something you should have. I think you'll be able to make better use of it than we will here. Remember, you'll need to visit the star base back at Earth. If you want to install that. Advanced so, nuke. Would you like to run another trial? 
Uh, if he's gonna give us rewards, throw everything Captain, you have at me. Are you sure? Star Control is gonna be pretty upset with me if I blow up your ship. Uh, yes, bring it on. All right, let's hopefully not die. Ow, those little fighters suck. Oh. Got their main ship. Oh, uh, get rid of the drone. Get rid of the drone. Okay, what's the red one? Battery regeneration. Battery regeneration. I don't know, is that costing them crew or just energy? So much stuff here. Okay, it's coming for me. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> Maybe we should have been and got the nuke. Dang it! Ah, yes, direct hit! <laughs> Run away! Got him! <laughs> we won! Ah, oh, Damien, did you see that, man? Did you see that? Great work. You can sure handle that ship, Captain. You're definitely the right one for the job. Here, there's something you should have. Might come in handy. Remember, you'll need to visit the Point star defense. base back at Earth. If you want to install that, you just gave so, me. Two. Would you like to run another trial? Two free upgrades. No problem, Captain. Oh. Can I do anything else for you? No, this was amazing. Thank you. About my ship. You've come to the right place, Captain. What would you like to know? Tell me about my weapons. Your ship is designed to hold two types of weapons. You have your primary weapon and your secondary weapon. For budgetary reasons, the prototype Vindicator class was deployed with only the primary weapon system attached. But what a weapon it is. A guided nuclear missile. Not only does it pack a pretty big punch, it has limited homing capabilities too. With any luck, the nuke will frighten away whatever scared the Lexites off. No problem, Captain. Can I do anything else for you? Negative. No problem, Captain. Good luck out there. We're not here for dialogue. We're here. I don't know. Just to explore the galaxy, I guess. Alright, we took some damage there. We're going to return to Earth. We're going to pick up... Uh, we're going to pick up and install that point defense and the nukes. Captain, you survived! Ship has been topped up with crew. That's wonderful. What's that, a concern? Not anymore, it isn't. But tell me, Captain, what did you find out on Triton? There's some cool aliens out there. There's some kind of sticky aliens. What? You tell the commander everything. Well, not everything. Everything pertinent. Well, it sounds like you did the right thing offering to help, Captain. Our exobiologists have been studying the recordings of your conversation with the alien. Based on their word choice, blinking, and overall clamminess levels, we believe that this one was genuinely in fear for his life. So we've come to a conclusion. We want you to help them. This is too great an opportunity to pass up. Just remain cautious. There's no reason to trust these Taiwan fully just yet. All right. He said he's missing like half a ship. Well, if what this Taiwan says about the scribe is even remotely true, I think we need to help. The chance to establish friendly relations with an alien civilization is too great to pass up. I know. Especially if they can in any way help us stop a threat to our civilization. Go find the missing parts of their ship, Captain. They should be around here somewhere. Damien, you got an Xbox One S? Nice, man. Nice. You can, you're going to play some Ark on there? Uh, are you sure we need to, to help these aliens before we go? We'll need to resupply a few things. Oh? Like what? Uh, we're running low on fuel. I guess that's starship driving for you. Unfortunately, things are a little tight around here. 
We've used up almost every resource we had making that ship of yours. Even making payroll has been challenging. I have not been too popular around here lately. Return here with any resources you find on your travels. We'll use advanced space accounting practices to determine what we can build with them. This will all be presented to you as resource units, or RU. Which you can then exchange for fuel or other supplies. Oh. Uh, trade. Let's see. Nitrous oxide. 23 units. Sell all. Sell. So, can I also craft? Outfit. Outfit the ship. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Um, the nose. Sensors. Empty. The right side. We're going to put in just your basic nuke, limited speed and homing abilities. Advanced nuke. And more advanced missile with improved targeting and range. Wait a second. So we can upgrade or swap that one out. Put in the point defense system in the middle. AI coordinator. Trajectory correction computer. Oh. Crew for two thou? How much do I got? One thou? Okay, let's sell. Let's see. Sell all. Sell all. Sell. Okay. Sell cargo. Buy items. How much is fuel? Fuel is used. Ten. Fill me up. Okay. And but <laughs> replacement lander. We don't need a replacement. Maybe. Okay. Okay, that's cool, Damon. All right. We only is got there one. Anything else? No. no. Back Good to luck, work. Captain. Close communications. We got our first weapon upgrade. That's awesome. All right. So we need to search the inner planets for the ship and the hyperdrive module thingamabobbers. I don't think Mars would have anything, would it? Scanning Mars. Sir, we're detecting two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Is this something to do with the Lexites or something else entirely? Potential. Oh, mystery. Uh oh, correct. 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 Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, jeez. Titanium, copper, a nitrogen oxide. Ah. And it tells us in the left side. Unidentified object? E. This looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. Nice. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Oh, loving this, guys. Loving this. Remember, if you guys are sh uh, really enjoying this video, share it with your friends, family, and, you know, your enemies as well. Titanium. Ooh. Mars has got some resources. This looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. All right. Just a bit more to go. There's our spaceship. Mars is very small. Oh, there's the sun. Or our ship is really big. Woo! Got some air there. We got a little bit of copper left. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. I see it. It's coming up. It's triangle for copper. And there we go. No resources detected. Perfect. Let's leave. Our enemies will gotta share it with State Farm. I got the division two. Oh, nice. That's cool. <laughs> I can hear my neighbor's dogs. Oh. Uh oh. Hail. Stand it. Stand it. Vessel does not match patterns for any authorized sentient being. EM broadcast detected. Spectrum analysis. Technological development level T3. 
2D image in broadcast identified. Processing. Facial edge discrimination does not match known settings in this sector. You are not a Tyrone. Who are you? Do we tell them, guys? We're humans. We mean you no harm. No, we're Tyrone. Check again. Ah. Uh, do we be proud humans? Or do we fear? Remain where you are. A scribe legate has been notified of her unauthorized existence and is approaching the sector now. Oh, great. Hold. Transmission incoming. New orders received. Local fleet probe vessel zero will clear your system of unauthorized organic vessels. Continue to remain where you are. So it's gonna attack us. We got our new weapon though. Okay. Oh gosh. Ho ho ho! Oh, we got him in the face. Oh, 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 there's a planet. There's a planet. Oh, we bounced off the planet. We better skip these resources then. <laughs> Point defense. 15% speed. Get this one. Acceleration. Max crew. All right, we're heading back towards them. Chasing them down. I can't fire. I can't fire. Oh, did I burn up my energy and so I couldn't fire my primary weapon? Okay. Got him. 6,000 are you, or 600, scavenged from the enemy fleet. Well, they will not defeat us today. So, let's see, that was Mars. We got a blue location over here, there, and there. So let's check this out. Ellipse. Captain, we're detecting movement on the surface. Looks like some kind of robotic drones. It might be dangerous to send the lander down unarmed. Oh. Okay. Robotic drones. Oh, we accidentally touched it again. Okay, we'll just move away from it and check out the planet then. Hey, nope. Hey, it's Artemis. Yeah, ever since we found this thing all the way out here in the 40s, scientists have been wondering if it would get more interesting. And, uh, nope. Not today. We found a new planet in the 40s? What? Jacob, welcome to the stream. Howdy. Say, human. Yes, oh, wait. Well. MC Major, welcome to the stream as well. You guys just kind of showed up out of nowhere. Welcome. How's it going tonight? So we explore the solar system. I hope you guys can join us. We have already looted Mars for all its treasures. Um, no weird artifacts. Okay. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit. Ah! All right, let's get these resources here. Oh, lightning. What are you? Tribium. Ooh. Oh, boy. Okay, we gotta avoid. What is that? Oh, mean. Okay, the storm seems to be over, which is great. Or it's on the other side of the planet. Okay, we'll get that and that. We got just a bit of astrine left. We'll go through the storms. 
go around it. Thrusters. Woo! Okay. We got 10 units left. We need these resources for fuel and stuff. Let's see. Longest Journey Home needed gameplay like this. Definitely. Welcome, MC Major, says Jacob. All right. That was a good loop. Let's see about Saturn. I don't think there's any surface on Saturn to land on. No landable surface. I knew it. It's almost like it's some kind of gas giant with rings. Titan. Uh, resources, resources, lots of resources. Yeah. Oh. Eat. Nope. 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 We are so off course. We are so off course. Oh, we destroyed it. Face plant. Um, this is a warning weather level. Look at all that. Okay, we lost a lander. <laughs> that was 500 bucks down the drain right there. Oh, man. Training base. Uh, let's see. We'll go for some... We'll go for Venus now. Shoot. Um, whoops. Yeah, it's very arcadey. This game seems fun. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Holy smokes. Heat level of 10. Alright, what about Mercury? Mercury any good? I mean, it's probably hot too. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land. Okay, okay. You don't have to tell me twice, guys. We'll go out this way towards Jupiter. Now, Jupiter has no places to land on, but it's got a lot of moons. Hey, there we go. Oh, nice. We lost five people on that last one, man. <laughs> That's so sad. They died. <laughs> In the pursuit of saving humanity. Whoa. Black, 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 black. Looks like an old Russian space probe, Captain. Oh. It's neat, but not much we can do with it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Crashed ship. Huh. See, where are the resources? Huh, it's that thing again. Do you hear? Oh, sound effects? Oh, there's a triangle. I heard, like, wind on a planet that shouldn't have any wind at all. Is Earth in this game? Yes, Earth is in this game. We are actually... Earth is probably... Not these. These are these are the moons of Jupiter. But uh, yeah, we just went to Earth and installed our new nuclear missile. It takes a lot of energy. We need to upgrade our ship, bad. But that means we need alien technology. Cause this one is state of the art. Oh dang it! You tricked me. The probe. Oh, the resources are gone. There we go. Back to space. Crash ship is the only thing of interest we found. So we'll head for Astria. Okay. We got tons of resources here and uranium. That was a weird sound effect. Very strange. Okay. Let's go over this way. Alien technology. Ooh, yes. <laughs> we already met our first alien in the first 
five, ten minutes of the stream. And they want to help us not die, which is really nice of them. We just got a bit more material left. All right, one more, which I already have a target lock on. Yes. There we go. We've got all the resources off this planet. Or moon. So. Oh. We need to hit this one, this one, and this one. And then most likely the... Because uh, their ship kind of fell apart when they uh, distracted the enemy. We need to hit that planet over there. What do we got? What do we got? Some, uh, some materials. All right. I can already see one over there. We'll just adjust our placement here. There you go. Okay. Heading for the green. Trillium. We may have to go trade. Yeah. No jump button, though. Oof. Ugh. Okay. But we got a thruster for speed. So we got to kind of angle up, and then we can fly across. All right, there's just four of this Phobos left. Phosphorus, there we go. It's probably that right there. There we go. Oh, correct? Okay, leave the planet. Get the probe. Copyrighted song? I hope not. Hopefully I'm talking enough that the copyright system will not detect that there are problems with the music. If there are problems with the music. Captain, the weather on this planet will make landing very difficult. We'll need better landers to man. You got a point. Io is a difficult one. What about Europa? Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. There we go. Guys, I'm going to take a break real quick. I'll be right back. do I'm back just turn off the music it's not gonna actually have an issue is it I like the music we're gonna leave it going let's see let's land we'll be we finding the other half of the alien ship lead oxygen nickel Oh, we got storms here too. Great. Let's uh Let's see. We got a square over here. Yeah. Whoa. Well, this is a heck of a thing, Captain. We found some kind of monument here. At least I think it's a monument. It's a big multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions sticking out of it. Balls and sticks, kind of. There's text on it, or graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, anyways. Not much we can do with it, but admire it. And done. We'll just leave this here, then. Wow. An alien monument. We got oxygen up ahead. That's one oxygen. Wow. Ah, we got another resource this way. Just turn off the music. No, it's fine. Is the music too loud? Is the more important question. 
We got lead. Lead on the radar. But where could it be? There it is. I got two things coming up. One of them is probably the monument. Hey, we got all the resources. Nice. Europa has been defeated. Let's move on to Uranus. No landable spots. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. All right. As long as we can keep it in the squares, I'm happy. We got some materials. Oh, that looks like an alien ship part. This looks like the part of the ship that friendly slug is missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Nice. All right, one last resource piece somewhere. I see it, I saw it for a second. It's over there. Oh, I flipped over. <laughs> All resources have been looted. It's fine. Good. Thank you. Now, let's see. What's this behind it? Mirandaria. Unidentified object. Copper. Cool, but where is this object? Oh, hello. It looks like a crashed automobile. No idea why it's out here. Received, oh, it's a crashed Tesla. <laughs> Sending it to the ship for examination. Nice. Elon Musk's missed cars out here. 19 cover. Ah, no resources. Let's get out of here. All right. So that means we need to head out towards this area up here where we have uh, another planet. I can't remember what it's called. Neptune. Oh, yeah. We went to Triton. Do we have all the pieces? We'll go see the aliens. Going down. No resources detected. All right. What about crashed alien spaceships? There it is. I see it. It's down here. There it is. Our new probable friends came back. Hey, did you get everything we need to repair our vessel? We got attacked by the probe. You did? That's not good. Did you tell them we were here? No. But it said pretty much concerning things about clearing our system. Well, now that sounds extremely not good. Like I said, if you help us repair our ship, we might be able to help you deal with these scribe. So, have you found everything we need to repair our vessel? Yes, here you are. Great! Now we can fix our ship. Awesome! You stand by and watch them fix their ship in surprising speed. It worked! <laughs> We've repaired the hull damage and restored power to our propulsion systems. It will take another minute or so to get our defensive systems online. So please, don't murder us! <laughs> mm, we wouldn't dream of it. Ha ha ha, we'll see. 
Great! So, my new damp chum, why don't we head back to Earth? You can introduce us to your parents. And leaders. Um... We can tell them what we've told you. Or we could just hang out. Um... Come on, then. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, to Earth. We're gonna go hang out with some alien dudes. Alright. So that's them. Oh, it's not them. Not good. The car. Ah, you must be the scribe. Oh, that light. Relax, we intend you no harm. Okay, why don't we have permission to exist? It's funny, we haven't seen you around here much. Nope, this one's ours. Whoa. Savage, you don't even know us. What? Whoa. Do you need more proof of your barbarity? How about the destruction of our innocent probe? Do not attempt to hide it. We saw the weapons break as we approached this system. We see the wreckage now. When I communicate the details of our encounter to Scribe No Seat, they will be most displeased at the loss of our equipment. Hmm. I suspect you are the ones that I want have been hiding from us. Who knew they were filled with such deceit? We thought it was just fools. <laughs> Oh no. No. You just can't kill them. The hell you will. Find if you fight. Want to fight? You've got one. Whoa, where did that come from? That's a rhetorical question, actually. I know exactly where that came from. A bad, bad place. We're still repairing our weapon systems, so we won't be able to help you. Which is a shame, because we really, really wanted to do that. Good luck! Oh, gosh. Alright. Uh-oh. We got a blue planet! Ow! Got him. Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh, missed him. Oh, shoot. Got a speed boost. Got him twice. Ah! <laughs> oh. Acceleration increase. Oh, he got a battery regeneration. Oh, missed him. Oh, we're going to hit a planet. Oh, he hit a planet. Good. We've almost got him. Oh, so close. Eh. 
battery regeneration. Yes! You won 1,050 RUs. You did great, best friend. Oh, thank you. You are so awesome. And sexy. Oh, gosh. What? 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 You just called us sexy. Oh, that's weird. Translation error, probably. Okay, guys. That happens sometimes. Translation error. Anytime we say something weird or uncomfortable, that'll be a translation error. Oh, I wish I could use that in real life. Let's talk about how we're going to crash or crush some alien scum. How about we get around to saving humanity from murder? Let's get back to our deal. Of course. And it's not just a humanity saving deal now. It's also a Taiwan saving deal. Sounds like a good. I don't know if you caught it, but that scribe didn't just threaten to kill all Taiwan everywhere. That's not gonna go over well back home. But first, let's go to Earth. I imagine your leaders will want to talk about this. Definitely. And when you get here, we have something we need to give you. Okay, better be technology. Return to Earth. Close communications channel. Let's see, Earth is right here. Getting in close, closer. Do we need to loot the moon? Lexite ruin. There are resources. Let's go grab them real quick. So we're gonna be selling this stuff at the Earth anyway. All right, the moon. Glory to the Moonanites. Silicon. Ooh, the ruins of the Lexite ruins. Captain, this is the lunar facility the Lexite settled after they first left Earth. We've sent surveyors here before, and I don't think much has changed since then. Not from all the dust I can see. It doesn't look like the Lexites were here long after they arrived in 2085. This was just a staging area they used before traveling elsewhere. No idea where they went after this, but you know that as well as I do. Finding them is why we have a star control in the first place. Captain, there's something powering on here. Blinking lights, humming sounds. There's a computer screen turning on. It says, threat to remnants detected. Lander self-defense technology ready to be used. Insert uranium to power. Oh, we have There's uranium. A in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? Yes. Great. The machinery roars to life. Arms pivot out to plant Some a new. Some kind of laser gun, Captain. Looks like it will fit right on our lander. That was nice of the Lexites. It's very nice. Okay. We have a laser hey, gun. Man, now that we have a laser gun, why don't we try shooting some rocks with it? In the name of research. Research. I like that plan. Rocks detected. Ooh, there's there's minerals in those rocks. So we can kind of mine now. Aluminum. Oh, it actually adds a material to the screen. We don't get to see that until we've uncovered it. Interesting. We got gold! go get all that we got 30 silicone left and an unknown number of materials trapped in rocks hmm yes the Elon Musk car he shot into space and then it went off course whoops
Aluminum. Oh, silver. Saw another rock pop up. Right over here. There we go. I think that's it. All right, back into space. All right, that was a good stop at the moon. Got us a laser gun. You're back. And I brought back a friend. So I see. You fill in the commander on the various alien savings and alien killing activities. So, we're definitely not alone in this universe. We've suspected as much for a while. Those weird caves on Ceres, the scraps of distant radio signals, all those missing giraffes. But this proves it. There are aliens out there. Including some pretty mean ones. These scribes sound terrifying. The Typhoon seem to have allied with them somehow. Maybe they'll like us once they got to know us better? That will probably just give them better aim. But your successful engagement with them lends us hope that we might not be completely defenseless. A shame it had to come to that. No one woke up today wanting a war with a race of murderous space centaurs. We'll begin preparing a defensive fleet right away. Still, there's a lot about this situation that we don't know. What do you think of this Wimdu? Do you trust him, Captain? Ah, sure. He is unusually clingy, yes. He smiles. But it doesn't look like we can afford to turn down any friends at this point. The Taiwan have graciously offered to install something on your ship. They call it a hyperspace module. With it, you'll apparently be able to travel faster than the speed of light. Oh. We want you to go with the Taiwan to his home planet and request an alliance with his people. Oh my. Sounds easy. A little modesty might help here, Captain. If this works, we'll be sending actual diplomats later to handle the details. But Wimdu has insisted that you make the first gesture. I think he has a bit of a crush on you. Uh-oh. And you did save one of their ships. The Taiwan will trust you more than any other human. Moreover, you wouldn't be in command of that ship if you weren't smart, diplomatic, and adaptable. Ah. Plus, you've passed all the sanity tests. <laughs> I don't know about that. Sure did. What do you need? Nice, Captain. We've helped patch up the Taiwan ship. They've requested you travel with them to their homeworld in the Alpha Repeculae system. Head there right away. Then, if you can, negotiate an alliance between the Taiwan and Earth. After that, see what other information you can gather about the Scribe and the galaxy around us. Okay. Paying particular attention to the parts of the galaxy that want to destroy us. We need to get up to speed quickly here. All right. What if I need to resupply my ship? According to Wimdu, Alpha Repeculae is a short distance away by hyperdrive. You should have plenty of fuel to make it there and back. If you want to offload any minerals you've collected or refuel now, I suppose you can do that. Okay. We found something weird. Yeah, we've seen the playback of your visit there. Look, Captain. Finding out what happened to the Lex sites is important. We can hardly ignore the original mission of Star Control. But recent events have rather overtaken things, wouldn't you say? Yes. We already knew about the facility on the moon. Your orders were to travel to Alpha Repeculae. Investigate the Lex site ruins when you have time. I'm not sure that's now. No, it's not. Well, uh, let's go to the shipyard. So... Typhoon Defender can't... Can I recruit? No. I don't have that ability yet. What about outfit? I've got 2,000 units. We got the hyperdrive module. We could install... For this captain who just can't land right, this thing will do its best to land for you. Safety guaranteed. Not a guarantee. 5,000 units. We're getting there. Artificial intelligence system that allows fleet battles to be automatically controlled. Turning, plus 65. Battle speed, plus 25. Battle acceleration, 25. Fleet-wide battle speed, plus 20. I don't know if I like that. Crew quarters, 2,000. We could get more crew. We do have navigator on us. Okay. 
Let's go to the trade window. We have lots of minerals. Oh man. Sell all resources, sell cargo, buy items. Um. Oh, oh man. Oh dude, we made so much cash. Buy a lander. Fill up. Okay. 8,000 bucks. Outfitter. I suppose we could buy the directory computer now. There. All right. We can now land on the harder ones. Um, was there anything for the lander? Lander module. Anti-gravity thruster. Specialized maneuvering jets allow landers to become airborne for a short duration. Available to buy. Lander. Three thou. Let's do it. Uh, lander module. Jump 200. Okay, so we got that and that. And we can buy an anti-gravity, which gives 200 jump. We already have one of those. Okay, weird. I would have thought that the landers would be like a separate craft, but it seems like we put the upgrades on the main ship. How strange. Is there anything else? Um, nope. Good luck, Captain. Thank you. All right. It didn't we'll exactly our hyperdrive. Just approach the edge of the solar system. It'll engage automatically. Okay. We're at uh, 99 or 999 fuel. Who? Whoa. Is that a friend? It looks like. Yeah, that's a, a typhoon. Ty typhon. All right, we're approaching the edge. As you can see, there's no Pluto in this solar system, guys. Oh, we're out. It looks like our new hyperdrive came with a navigational system, Captain. Let's open up the map now by pressing Tab and use the search feature to find our way to Alpha Repeculae. That's Tab. Let's see, sector map, Alpha Repeculae. Autopilot? Sounds good to me. Oh, aliens! Hail! Whoa! You have arrived. Have I? We have waited for you for a long time. Oh my god. We have been watching. We have never met before, but you know us. You look very familiar. Of course we we have chosen this appearance because it is exactly what you expect an alien to look like. Oh my god. We always intended we would be the first to contact you. Events, however, have overtaken our intentions. Uh, yes, the Taiwan were watching us, apparently. The Taiwan are amateurs at watching you. We have a very particular interest in you. Discussing it now would complicate this conversation. You may know that we have watched you for several thousand years. Oh my. And that is all that you may know. We did not expect you to find us for some time yet. Events have accelerated. Your Lexites saw it. They took a different path. A darker path. But they are not our concern. Our bond is only with you. Why do I get the feeling you're talking down to us? Let's talk about your parents for a minute. What do you know about the Lexites? The Lexites are not our concern. We don't know where they have gone. But here you are. Sooner than expected. Yet almost too late. Uh, what do you mean? The most pressing threat you probably perceive is the scribe. They are a real threat. The threats come in varying degrees. More are coming. The spur is aflame. The eight are no more and the precursors have abandoned us. Aww. 
In time, it will. Nothing you said but made sense. But when that time comes, heed these words. Your path is not guarded by rails. Following familiar beats will lead to peril. Oh. If you sense your journey has been taken many times before, then beware. The obvious, unthinking path will give you no reward. Why do I get the feeling you're talking down? Let's talk about your parents. Why reveal yourselves now? The object near here is a space station left behind by a race of aliens who have long departed from this facet. Their true name is not known to any of your peers. Precursors is a common handle in this facet and others. Their artifacts, like this space station, will not work for your peers, but they will work for you. Because we have activated them for you. We are not peers of the Precursors. They are beyond even us. Whoa. As they have often shown. But we have seen enough to know some of their tricks. Use these stations. They will be a great asset to you. Their caretakers are unique. But this is typical of Precursor technology. It is time for us to go. Whoa. Wait, we have other questions. Thanks. Were you seeking allies to defeat the Skrims? Will you help us? Very few of my kind remain in true space. Advise we can, but defend we cannot. If you need advice on where to go next, Proxima Centauri is famously not far. The moon of Kath's there contains many valuable resources these star bases can make use of. Beyond that, do not worry. This will not be the last time we talk. You will be fine. Explore. Talk. Fight. Be human. Wow. Thank you. Human is what I want to be. Interaction now possible with his rate of 99.5 Pong Tonk. Pong Tonk. Stalus, to you too? Recalibrating. Six zero. What are you? Checking proper motion of calibration stars. This facility has been offline for 205,432 years. Why have I come online now? Checking. Checking. Exception. Reboot calls not found. Uh, we have some friends turn you on for this us? This seems unlikely. Sapient life forms known to exist in this region of space are several orders of magnitude too primitive to operate this facility. Who are you? Uh, we're humans? Checking. 99.8% chance you are descendants of pre-sapients on local green belt worlds. Insignificant. This is quite a mystery. Isn't it? Forget that. Who are you? This is an automated port, research, recreational facility created by exception, name not found. I am an avatar of that facility. I have been projected into this facet of the multiverse to facilitate its use. This facility and others like it can process raw minerals into generalized resource units and then process those into fuel, equipment, or entire vessels. Wow. It can also tell you stories. Nice. Check signs indicate large portions of my eternal memory have been corrupted. Uh oh. Consequently, this facility only has limited information on the following topics. Exception, name not found, local stars, and fun facts. Fun facts sounds fun. Tell me a fun fact. Two hundred billionth digit of E is two. That wasn't fun. This facility is over two hundred thousand years old. Standards may have changed. Calibration is still continuing. <laughs> uh, that's the funny part. This region occupies a minor arm of the galaxy and has a typical composition of star types and ages. Notable exceptions include the unusually low density of interstellar medium in this area, likely the remnant supershell of supernovae that occurred 18 million years ago. 
This region has been continually filled with sapient life since recordings began 218,209 years ago, albeit at a slightly lower density than found in other parts of the galaxy. Oh, so we should have had more neighbors. Exception, name not found, lived in these stars for exception, duration not found, years. They did things which I have no record of. The volume of missing records suggests they did many of those things, however. This facility is one of those things, designed to assist with the conduct of many of those things. <laughs> it seems though that this facility has laid dormant for 205,432 years. Its activation now indicates exception. Things it indicates not found. That's it. That's all I know. Wow. There are other facilities that might be able to offer more. All right. Uh, let's see here. Local. Let's, I already did that. 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 Is there anything else? Can oh new ship components available at Starbase? You said you were a Starbase. Let's do some Starbase things. Trade, buy items, fuel, uh, fill me up, sub cargo, nothing, outfit, crew quarters, docking bay, to support a larger fleet you'll need more docking bays to manage the logical, uh, deflector provides minimal protection for command ship by pro channeling incoming offensive fire and diverting it into a neighboring universe. Whoa! Alright, this place has got some cool stuff, but we have no money. Hypergate. Oh. Is there anything else? No, I can't afford nothing. One other thing before we go. This facility has peas scattered throughout the spur. They are statistically likely to have experienced different corruption in their memory banks and may have access to different design templates for constructing ship components. Also of note, from any facility you'll be able to access the Hypergate material movement process and instantly travel to another facility you have already visited. That is it. Exception, civil farewell not found. Wow. Thank you. Alright. Let us adjust our course. Um, tab, sector map, here, autopilot. Fuel is dropping like crazy. We are now at 900. Achievement unlocked! Exo Explorer. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Oh yeah, look at all those ships. There's no travel lines for the planets, so do they not have a rotation? It's a bit weird. Okay, ready to launch? Let's do it. Okay, the landing computer scared the heck out of me, but it did it. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, well, shoot. Uh, we gotta watch out for circles. We got... Oh, we almost died. Hmm. Uh, well, let's go back into space. Heal up. <laughs> go back down. That landing computer is worth every penny. Okay, we got a full crew again. Oh. <laughs> gotta watch out for circles. Critters, 10. Do we have to kill them? Look at that. They're a resource. Iridium. We got uh, another one down that way. I think we gotta kill the critters. Okay, 33 platinum. Just 10 critters to kill now. Yeah. Death to the critters. Where are they? Where do they hide? Hmm. Do, 
do 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 There's a circle. Yeah. Oh shoot! I think I got him. Achievement unlocked. Poacher. <laughs> really? Um. Uh, well, I don't know we need, if we need any meat. Really, we'll go ahead and leave that and check out the planet. Uh, not a landable, okay. Oops, wrong way. A holler. That's the, the goal right there. Oh, I missed it. Great seeping poor! They actually came. Welcome, humans. We greet you with many open arms. Wow. Chief Viscosity Officer Wimdu has already told us so much about his new friends. We come in peace, seeking allies and assistance. You wish to be our friends? Yes. I said allies, not friends. Gladly, yes. Then of course we'll ally with you. This is the greatest day in Taiwan history. It is one of our good days, too. We will immediately send emissaries to your homeworld to share technology, coordinate with your leaders, and practice handshakes. Oh, my. So, what would you like to do now, best friend? Um... Does anyone on your ship want a massage? What? What do you know about the Skyrim? That's going to be tricky. You've already blown up one of their ships. They hate that. Uh, can we hide from them? Can we apologize? Can we join their empire? Can we fight them? Look, we know you have a lot of gumption and spirit and uh, nuclear weapons. So many nuclear weapons. What is wrong with you anyways? <laughs> We just really like them, is all. <laughs> uh huh. Well, even with those, you have primitive spaceships, and you don't understand hyperspace, and you only know like half the digits of pi. Oh. So no, you cannot fight the scribe. Not alone, at least. Will with your help? Also, no. Thanks for asking, though. We would be a big help. We know how hyperspace works, at least. But we're just not big fans of getting squished by the scribe. Uh, they threatened to kill you already. Right. We read Wimdu's report. But that scribe died. He's dead now. The rest of the scribe love us. They're going to murder us all, aren't they? Especially once they see you alive. Having friends is dangerous. It can be. Maybe being unpopular was some kind of evolutionary defense for our people. Uh, you can't be unpopular for un uh, forever, guys. Wow, you are definitely the first person who's ever told us that. <laughs> but maybe you're right. Maybe there are other aliens you have something in common with. We've seen lots of battle-damaged scribe ships in the last few years. Which suggests someone out there is already fighting them. Nice! Though we have no idea who would do such a thing. Shooting the scribe sounds like the kind of cool activity people tend to not include us in. I'm sure other aliens are just shy around you. There are lots of aliens around here, but most of them aren't that consequential. 
The scribe mostly just leave them be. Until they become consequential, that is. And then... POW! It's weird that the scribe have taken such an interest in you, in fact. Because you are extremely inconsequential. Wow! I guess you just have that kind of look to you. The look which makes evil alien empires want to wipe you out. That's possible. Anyways, if you're looking for aliens who might be able to actually help you, you'll be better off talking to the Scribe's ward species. Not all of which actually like the Scribe that much. There's the Mukei. They have lots of tentacles, so you'd think they'd be good at hugging. They don't seem into it. Their homeworld is in the Beta Pavo system. Then there's the Mengmak. They're pretty friendly. A bunch of their ships are in the Speaker constellation. But we've seen them in lots of other places, too. Oh, and then there's the Drenkend. They're some kind of living weapon. They really like the Scribe and really like killing things for the Scribe. So we uh, don't hang around them too much. You can find them in the Alpha Oxor system if you like being killed. I don't. Also, there's the Scribe. They're everywhere. Though that's probably not that helpful. No. So, what are you going to do? <sighs> I mean, what are we going to do? Ah. Uh... We're going to form an intergalactic alliance to stop the scribe. We're going to find out which aliens are shooting the scribe and offer to help. We're going to go back to Earth first. Glop! You are so cool! Let us know if there's anything we can do to help. Oh boy. You can have as many hugs as you need. Also, perhaps more relevantly, Please feel free to commandeer any Taiwan vessels that you require. I can assure you, the Taiwan on board will be more than happy to come with you. More than happy. Like, it'll be weird. It's already weird. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Anything for our best friends. What do you want to know? Uh, not much. We're just nice, honest monopods trying to make our way in this galaxy. Our civilization is founded on the principles of lubrication, building ramps instead of stairs, and friendship. Oh, all right. So why were you spying on us again? Okay, it's like this. We suck. We know that. It's fine. Everyone tells us all the time. Oh. You don't suck. That's very nice of you to say. Though I suspect your opinion will change with time. Oh. And that's where the spying comes in. Someone who hasn't met us yet can't know how much we suck. So, we regularly keep an eye out for young alien species on the verge of developing hyperspace travel. And we wait. And we watch. So, that's why you can speak our language. Oh, that's nothing. Your human language is easy to learn. It's like a baby's language. Oh! Every alien out there will be able to understand what you're saying. Wow. Uh, we wanted to ask about something else. Like what? Best friend ever? That's enough questions for Is now. Is there anything else? Best friend? Um... Let's Please go. Please hurry back. <laughs> We can hang out any time. <laughs> <sighs> well, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. I'm getting super tired and I got to work in the morning. So thanks everyone for watching. I uh I really enjoyed this game. We do have other games to beat. Um 
that we bought during the sale, like, um, phone home. But once we've gotten through that, I think we'll revisit this game. Maybe even beat it. Sure you went to abandon humanity? Yeah. Farewell, Captain. Thanks, guys. This is Billy on the Good Job C channel. Signing off. Do, 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 do. Bye, David.